This is really a remarkable and controversial development. By using what amounts to genetic scissors to eliminate potentially fatal diseases. But the question this morning is, could this breakthrough lead to so-called designer babies? The target of the research, an inherited heart disease that often leads to sudden death in young people. Scientists say they have successfully edited genes in dozens of embryos to remove the mutation that causes the disease, while at the same time not triggering any new harmful mutations. To do this, researchers used a revolutionary technology called CRISPR, a tool which allows them to remove and replace unwanted sections of genetic material, a method they say could eventually eliminate inherited diseases, such as some cancers, hemophilia, and sickle cell anemia. I describe it as uh, surgery for the cell. Jennifer Doudna is a co-inventor of CRISPR. She spoke with NBC News earlier this year. We have a level of control over biology that in the past we didn't have, and it's very profound. You know, it means that we can control human evolution now. And that's what's raising alarms. While many agree curing deadly diseases at the genetic level may be a good thing, some fear the technology could be used to create designer babies, controlling things like intelligence, height, and hair color. Critics say in the wrong hands, CRISPR could be used to develop bioweapons like a plague or killer virus. Former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper called such technology a possible weapon of mass destruction. One of the study's authors says it could be decades before embryo editing makes it to clinical trials, which is currently against federal law. Because it's such a complex technology, it cannot be done at home. You know, it has to be done at clinics. So there is a way, of course, to regulate it. But still, the technology offers a strand of hope for those impacted by the more than 10,000 conditions caused by inherited mutations. This would allow us to correct it and then transplant back into womb so that this time uh, they could have uh, worry-free you know, children without any of these mutations. A big step for science that is years from reality. One of the researchers says now that the technical hurdles have been cleared, this is the time to start grappling with the ethical and societal questions that this breakthrough raises. Matt and Hoda. All right, Ann, thank you very much. Let Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.